here we go again. I'm on my um, getting to be regular weekend roundabout run. And I'm in the middle of my second run and here we have um, possibly the same pig. Oh, excuse me, M member of the boar family here again and uh, feeding as um, he did last time. Oh, excuse me, she. Oh, excuse me, it could be a he or a she. Yes, a hundred kilograms heavy. Oh, excuse me, 50 kilograms heavy. So once again, see, normally I'd like to go, you know, maybe like 1.5 uh, 1 rounds along the way. I'd like to turn right and go down Harlock Road. Then it's like a nice downhill hike with lots of uh, shrubs, greenery, even some absolute forests. No pavement whatsoever. But I'm feeling a little bit wary because um, uh, Miss uh, Miss Piggy is here once again, and it's making me feel um, not scared but a little bit wary. You know, but uh, I guess I'm not the only one who's feeling careful about it because I don't see anybody um, wanted to get close to. Uh, Get close to this. Hey, there's another lady. Also, like me, you know, uh, standing, sitting, maybe uh, 12 feet away. So, I guess this means, this, uh, this brings me to the same conclusion as last week, which is that I'm going to finish this roundabout loop around Blue Guard Road. Um, because I cannot uh, forecast. I cannot forecast what will happen if um, I walk down uh, the other slope due to the fact that um, due to the fact that this um, member of the boar family is having a very good time having a very good time and we don't know when it will end we don't know if there's an expiration date to this we don't know what the expiry is for this we don't know the expiry for this and um, there are lots of uh, different baskets, different baskets of um, items that uh, he or she is feeding on. So I'm going to do the rest of my run now. Woo! Oh my god. Yeah, so I was just talking about this um, pig, uh, excuse me, member of the boar family. Oh yeah. Um, which means it's uh, made the decision for me. This. Uh, this lovely boar has made the decision for me that I'm going to run around this loop instead. Instead of turning right and going down the slope. Ah, it's really nice weather though. It's like maybe, it's like maybe 20 degrees. No, I think the weather forecast said it's 21 degrees, but it actually feels like it's maybe 16 or 17. It's really nice. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it looks so bad. Drenched in sweat. Ugh. No makeup. No makeup on my face looks so bad. Woo! Ugh, so I was listening to this podcast. Um, the last one was about um, this lady. She, I think her last name is Nirat. And she's written a book that um, has been translated. And she's also a member of the women's group. Um, known as the strong women with um, soft powers. I think that's what it's called. Um, so I'm actually interested in reading that book now. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Can anybody see? Yeah. But more importantly, more importantly, I listened to a podcast right before that. And basically... A lady who's a member of the Council of Foreign Relations, um, who also is part of um, part of the Japanese, has talked about what she would like to happen for Japan with the new president on board. Basically, they said a couple of very important things. The most important thing they said was that um, with the last one, they actually became best friends even before they started their jobs, and that's been really helpful. That's been very helpful to everybody. The second thing they basically said is that it's not about the parties. 
It's not about the parties. It's about the partying. It's not about the parties. It's about the partying. They don't care about which party versus which party. It's only mostly about the partying because that makes everybody safe, happy, and important. Then they also talked about um, <clears throat> needing forever the nuclear deterrent. But at the same time, we all have to make lots of friends. Because what happened, you know, recently is that everybody became friends with one another. One another, but not friends with more than one another. So there's got to be coalition work to speak in simple language rather than just being friends with one friend rather one friend having many friends especially in the same area then of course you know to worry about the people near to you who could make dangerous weapons and then to have friends far away far away from you who can help you because you're very far away from each other geographically but very very close friends historically more than <clears throat> 70 years and with that i have completely and accurately and flawlessly without missing anything synopsized <clears throat> that important podcast i just heard which like the podcast i heard last week is part of the japan times podcast uh, known as the deep dive oh and actually i remember i took note i took note of the the name of the lady who spoke her views on the deep dive podcast that i just heard um about uh, 10 minutes ago and her name is shida her name is shida i think her last name is if I can remember correctly while I'm running around at the same time with the pig nearby, uh, excuse me, member of the boar nearby, that her last name is Smith. Yeah, so there's my synopsis. And I don't think I missed any key points in, uh, in that uh, podcast discussion. That was, uh, that just occurred. Ooh, yeah. See, I also really care about Japan. It's my second country because my grandfather was a very significant member of the Japanese uh, country. So I always care about Japan. But most of all because I love Tokyo and we have a place there right in the heart of Roppongi. So I love Japan. It's my second country. And my grandpa has appeared on all the Japanese news and he gets to... He gets to fly to Tokyo like six times a year without even passing through customs when he gets off the plane. So I really love this country. It's my second country. And I was expressing the views of this lady. Oh, so. Yeah, I'm trying to judge. Oh, I don't know where. I don't know where the member of the Boer family he is gone. But if I know, if I can identify its location, then I would be able <clears throat> to walk downhill. But as I'm no longer able to identify its location, then I don't feel safe walking on the right side. But it's okay. I love, I love to run outside. I love to play outside. So I'm just going to run Oh, now I'm going to think whether to run the other half of the loop, burn the same calories, backwards or forwards. That's what I'm uh, considering right now. I would have gone down that slope, but uh, I'm not able, I'm not able to forecast the location of this Miss Piggy. Uh, excuse me, member, member of the Boar family. And who knows if it's the same one from what uh, Mr. Mr. Chung and I had identified last week. And I feel all the more alone without Mr. Chung by my side. I like him very much. He's a friend of mine. So maybe next time.
Mm, see? Here's me in the under the lamp. <clears throat> oh, I look so bad. Because I've no makeup on. I'm wearing a sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty tights. See, it's got a got the pattern down there. But I'm not matching on top today because <clears throat> I'm a little overweight. So I'm wearing a Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, it's for workout. It's for workout. Nobody wears underwear outside. <sighs> yeah. Oh, is that Mr. Cho? I'm going to see if it's him. No, it's not. He doesn't look friendly. I'm not going to go talk to him. Hmm.